so welcome next data mining function we are going to discuss is association analysis or mining frequent patterns association and correlation what is a frequent pattern frequent patterns are the patterns that occur frequently in data there are many kind of frequent patterns including item sets sub sequences and substructures now what is frequent item set a frequent item set refers to a set of items that frequently appear together in a transactional data set such as milk and consider a transactional data in this transactional database when a customer buy milk then buying of bread has a high chance so milk and bread together occurs in many of the transactions when milk and bread occurs together in many transactions set by a threshold then it is known as frequent item set now what is frequent sub sequence a frequently occurring sub sequence such as pattern that customer tend to purchase first a pc followed by a digital camera and then a memory card is called frequent sequential now what is frequent sequential pattern frequent sequential pattern means many of the customers buy personal computer first then digital camera then memory card so many customers follow the same sub sequence by 
PC first, followed by digital camera, then memory card. So this is a frequent item set as well as it is in a sequence. So this is known as frequent sequential frequent sequential so this is a sub sequence okay why this is sub sequence customer one Purchase detail. Consider the details of customer one purchase. Here, first few things are bought by the customer, then these three things, then other things. Customer two buys some products, then these three things, then another thing. So these three things comes as a sub sequence so a frequently occurring sub sequence such as the pattern that customers tend to purchase first a pc followed by digital camera and then a memory card is a frequent sequential pattern now what is frequent structured pattern? A substructure can refer to different structural types. And it may be combined with items or substance. A substructure can refer to different structural types and it may be combined with item sets or subsequences. If a substructure occurs frequently, it is called frequent structured pattern. So, example for structural forms are different structural forms are graph, tree, lattice. So, this is mainly frequent structured pattern mainly occurs in graph line. We, we have a structure. From this structure, We take a substructure. A substructure can be present in different structural forms like graph, tree, or lattice. A substructure represented in different structural forms may be combined with item sets or subsequences. Okay. If this substructure is frequent, then it is known as frequent structure. Mining Frequent patterns leads to the discovery of interesting associations and correlations within patterns. Frequent pattern mining leads to the discovery of 
interesting associations and correlation between that. So the frequent patterns are in many forms. The main three frequent patterns are first one is frequent item set, then frequent sequential pattern, third one frequent structured pattern. The frequent patterns mining leads to the discovery of interesting associations and correlation within the data. Now consider association analysis. Here, the customer X buys computer and buys software. Buys of X comma computer implies buys of X comma software. The customer X buy computer then software also. So computer and software occurs simultaneously for the transaction of the customer. Here we have a predicate. Why? Why is a predicate? And this is an association. In the association rule, only one predicate is present, then it is known as single dimensional association. Single dimensional association. Single dimension or dimensional single dimensional or dimension association analysis where well, the association association uh, rule has only one predicate the association rule is mentioned using two measures first one is support and second one is confidence what is support consider a transactional database with uh, 10 transactions okay transaction one two etc now consider the item computer the frequency of computer in the database is known as support of computer Frequency of item is known as its support. Here we have computer and software. So it is a it can be represented as an item set. Set of items is known as item set. Support of item set is the number, the frequency of occurrences, occurrence of all the items in the data set. We can represent it in two ways, either as a number or as a relative measure. 
when we use relative measure then the frequency is divided by total transactions so occurrence of item or items divided by total number of transactions this is the relative support or support count means the occurrence of item or the occurrence of items in the item set okay so support of x means frequency frequency of x in the data okay now relative measure when we use relative support a uh, relative relative support of x means frequency of x in the database divided by total transactions total transactions Here x is a single item or a set of items. Now, what is confidence? Oh, so uh, there are ten uh, transactions in the sorry, consider hundred hundred transactions uh, in the transaction table. and out of 100 in the 10 transactions both computer and software offers so the support of by computer implies by software is number of occurrence of computer and software that is 10 divided by total transaction that is 100 so we get when we convert to percentage 10 percentage okay If in the 100 transactions, only one time both computer and software offers, then the support is frequency of both X and Y, that is 1, divided by total transaction into 100, that is 1%. Percent. Next, confidence. Confidence is defined for an association. For example, consider the rule X implies Y. That is, uh, in this rule, the predicate is Y in both sides. So we consider the item set for it. that is the computer. Here, the software. Here, X represents computer and uh, Y represents software. Okay. Confidence is defined for a rule, association. 
here x and y are single item or a set of items now the confidence of x implies y confidence of x implies y is equal to occurrence of x and y together number of occurrences number of occurrences of x and x and y together divided by support of x support of x this is the context the support of x implies y what is support of x implies y support support means number of occurrence of x and y together divided by total transactions when we comes to confidence then the denominator changes that is number of occurrences of x and y together divided by four times. okay so the two measures used to analyze or uh, represent association rule is support and confidence so in this rule x is a variable representing customer confidence also known as certainty of 50 percentage means that if a customer buys a computer there is a 50 percentage chance that she will buy software as well that is the other that is why we divided the uh, this thing with the X. Now, a one percentage support means 